this your segment la visita freaks me out i don't know why i don't know why and i think it's the catholic the 12 years of catholic school that does it what was it about this story and telling this story in a way that's so much so different from what we've seen currently no definitely you know one of the cool things is that the the writer of the episode la visita freddy chavez we're like one of the only two Mexicans here in Vancouver, Canada. And something that him and I always do is we always love to, you know, talk about uh, our parents and the culture in Mexico and how much we miss it. And something we definitely both talked about was like, just in general, mass and church and religion is not, it's just not really the same like we have it in Mexico. That's so spiritual. And so we both remembered that uh, back in the eighties, La Hora Marcada had an episode that took place in a convent. And so that was definitely the one we wanted to tackle. And we both had the same goal. What is going to torture our mothers? And that's what he wrote. So I think it worked. <laughs> I think it worked. Yeah, I think it did. I think it really did. Victoria, <laughs> when, you're, yeah. when you're playing into this character, because you had some really physical scenes in this. Yes, totally. Um, how, does that, how are you able to get into this and get into this feel to really make it shine because you did a great job on this piece. Well, thank you very much. Um, well, yeah, it was kind of a challenge. Um, it was like so cold and um, I wasn't wearing shoes and, but it was very fun. It was like the first time I did um, something about horror um, in my career, um, but it was very cool. Like going with Gigi and she was telling me the story and what it was was going to be about because um, we had like a goal and that goal was to impact everybody. And it was very cool. I mean, it was very fun and Gigi like made it funnier. And I think horror, it's like you play it the way you want. And I, I, I was having fun all the time. And of course, getting to the character and the circumstance was kind of um challenging because of course i haven't had a paranormal um situation and i hope it keeps going like that but um it was like very cool yes yeah and diego to be a part of this like the makeup for this was just out of this world yes like i couldn't wash my hair for like a week and i felt like i was into it you know <laughs> i think everybody knows if you work on a gg project there will be sweat there will be blood <laughs> and there will be a lot of dirt yeah. and our and poor <laughs> our poor actor diego had that plus slime and all the gross you can imagine so yeah. Good job, guys. Because <laughs> <laughs> how was it to work in something like this where you're put into all this just gunk? Let's just throw it in as gunk. <laughs> uh, it's a question for me. Hi, hello. Um, <laughs> who are you? All of all of you. Este, I'm listening what Victoria uh, uh, is telling. So I am este, uh, de acuerdo with, with her. Mm -hmm. Um, about uh, the, the the magical that it was uh, to play because because we have a lot of a, a lot of play you no know? it's like uh, only it's in the mind I I, I remember uh, a lot of respect about this the, the scenes something like that and it was very funny to to play that really really I enjoyed it a lot it's like um, I, I, I was in a in a in a kind of of a difficult um, part of my life when when you gave me a contract to do that, and it was very I said that that, um, that was a challenge a horrible challenge because the character uh, this was the the most horrible. Uh, uh, personage uh, I was interpreted so that uh, when I make it uh, that was it was um, so different you no know, it was funny it was just uh, so uh, so good to do that so it was really nice day that that days we we played that 
Yeah. He says it's so humble, but Diego walked in and scared the shit out of everyone. I'm yeah, tell you right now. Totally. I was Diego like Diego was with all that on him, still such a nice guy. And the moment you call action, Diego would be like, Whoa, I'd be super crazy. <laughs> and, and Victoria screamed before action a few times. So it was great. <laughs> like I yeah, see myself great. like like I see, if I would have saw him like that on set, I would have been like, oh, oh I'm out. <laughs> yeah. it was, it I was, was so like, well done. Like in the point, in the point, like in the limit, at like, ah! like <laughs> this scared me for real, and <laughs> and he has like a very good point. It's magical to do terror because it's like it's never gonna happen to you, but the very um scary horror is the one in your mind. So it's like going to another planet, to another universe where that is possible. Exactly. And Gigi, I want to ask you this question because, like, you're the preemptive when it comes to horror right now. <laughs> uh, there's there's a lot of people out there, but you seem to be doing it in a way and a style that's different than what we've seen in the past. What is it about horror that Latinos just gravitate to and love? Because look at how many Latino directors started in horror and now look at where they are now. What is it about this genre that just attracts us as Latinos? You know, I think us Latinos, uh, compared to so many beautiful cultures and, and traditions all over the world, we are just very spiritual people. I think Latinos, we invite the dead. We talk to them. Even Mexicans, we celebrate it. And I think even since we're kids, we learn to almost embrace so much mythology, legends, uh, just magical realism as a part of us. It's not something that you know, we 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 look at it as something scary. We we almost like embrace it and cherish it. It's almost like it's just a, a part of us. So I think it's in our DNA to to want to believe it and invite it. You know, one time I I remember when um, Guillermo del Toro won the Oscar and they asked him, "How do you even come up with these ideas?" And he said, "Because I'm Mexican. You know, I just it's in my blood." And I think us Latinos actually love to believe in all of it. And that makes a big difference to actually tap into, like Victoria was saying, into another world, into another realm. We want to see it and create it. So it, it's just part of our, our nature since way back in time. I think that's what makes yeah. our culture so rich and so many stories to tell. Yeah, I agree. Think about that is a question the Latinos question us all the year. Mm -hmm. So I, I thought first from Latinos is more important the the dead day or, or Dia de Muertos than than Christmas. I, no, yes, so I for me, so for me, I love more este dead uh, days, el Dia de Muertos, que la Navidad, Christmas. No, so. Yeah, yeah. And finally, my last question for all of you: Vix has expanded yeah. so much, where you're getting other cultures coming in and watching Spanish television and our stories, and now with this time in horror with uh, La Hora Mercada. How important is it that we're attracting these people to a Spanish station that are normally not speaking Spanish, but are watching these stories? This is only but the perfect step forward to making, uh, to just encouraging more diversity. Uh, honestly, I, I don't even know, Michael, you'd be asking us this 10 years ago. So no. right now it's like the best time to be in entertainment, best time to be an actor, best time to be a filmmaker, because diversity, authenticity, these are the stories that people now want to see. Now people read subtitles and they like it. You know, exactly. So why why tell stories that are, you know, not from the heart and not from your own culture and own life experiences? So right now is the best time to invite everybody. So very cool that VIX has that platform to invite. Yeah. Victoria, Diego, you want to add anything to that? Well, um, I, I agree totally with Gigi. Um, I think like everything, every story can be um, told without a single word. Like, I mean, um, you don't have to understand a single word. It's just like to understand the image and um, to understand the faces, the environment that it's in the story. That's the main purpose of horror, to get to invite you all 
to our world that's the i think that's the coolest part of everything yeah exactly and i think that time already there i saw the 10 minute clock go out thank you so much i'm so sorry to cut you off diego but you're you're all you're very inspiring to me and to a bunch of latinos who are doing some amazing work thank you so much and we look forward to seeing the show on friday thank you michael you gave us the big thumbs up with your reaction now hey, we just was, our moms. If you scare <laughs> if you scare the crap out of me, you you got me. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we need to know. We need to know. Yes, exactly. <laughs>